Hello my loves, welcome to my channel. This is Chrissy the Medium and today I wanted to talk about um, the popular radio host and DJ who has been missing since Thursday. Um, he is known as DJ Jeffrey Vandergriff um, and he has been missing um, since Thursday. The last time anybody have seen him or heard from him has been, um, I believe it's 10 p.m. on Thursday. So I had a couple of people tag me um, and reach out to me to see if I can pick up on anything regarding where he is or what happened to him. And before we get started, psychic visions are not facts, okay? These are just um, impressions that I am getting and picking up energy. Um, they're like puzzle pieces and I have to try to figure out how they fit together, right? Everything I say is a ledge, okay? Um, so when I first started channeling for him, um, I looked at his picture and immediately I picked up a sense of sadness, a sense of depression, stress, anxiety, a lot of worrying. Um, almost a sense of not knowing um, what's gonna come of him, right? Not knowing what's gonna happen. And all I did pick up for him was, I felt like wherever he went was a place where he wanted to relieve some stress. Okay, so I, if I had to look for him, I would definitely go look for places where he went, where he, anytime he was stressed, anytime that he wanted to get away from everyone, I will look at those places. So definitely, most likely the family would know any of those locations where he, you know, he would go to relieve some stress, right? And in my vision, I also saw him running. So I don't know if that meant that he ran to this location um, or this is a location where he likes to run or hike or something like that. So definitely check out hiking places. He loves to go to relieve stress or something like that. Um, those are good places to look for him. Um, I don't feel like he's too, too far away. Um, and I also heard the words um what sounds like a name like david or davis um so i don't know if that's a friend that he is trying to say or um maybe a business place a street name right it, it could be any of any of those things um so i will be looking for those locations um but yeah, I as after I did my channeling, um, I digged a little deeper into him, right, and what was going on because I did felt this sense of sadness and depression, and I did realize that he was suffering from Lyme disease and he has had suicidal thoughts. So it kind of makes sense and it validates that feeling of, okay, wherever I'm going, it's a place where I'm going to relieve some stress. It's a place where um, I'm trying to, um, or I found a solution, right? I found a solution or I'm trying to find a solution and I'm going to this place because I need to think, I need to get away, I need to release, right? And that, I did felt that I did pick that up. Of course, I did pull some cards. Um, so definitely the cards helped me understand a little bit of what was going on through his mind. And I, I do feel that he was going through something really, really, really tough. Um, I don't know if recently he received any bad news because I feel like there was something that was said to him that must have like really pushed him over. Like that was his last straw. It was almost like, okay, well, if I'm going to do something, 
right? Allegedly. Um, this, whatever was said to him was like, that was the moment. That was the moment where he was just like, okay, well, I'm making a decision. I'm going to do this, right? Um, so there was something, I don't know what was said to him, okay? But definitely something was said to him where he felt like he needed to um, find a way to move forward some way, somehow. He needed to to release that pain. Um, he needed to move forward. Um, and so that's what I mostly picked up on him. So, yeah, I would look for places. I don't know if he, unless it was symbolically, right? I did see him running, so I don't know if that was like a symbolic thing. He's running away from his problems, right? Um, or I would look at places that he likes to hide, places, um, you know, or places that he likes to go and visit whenever he's feeling down or he would just wants to get away from, you know, from the moment and just, you know, have time to himself. I will look at those places like that because that's kind of what it feels like it. Um, and then I also, like I said, I also heard the word Davis or maybe they're just trying to tell me a place that starts with a D or um, it could be a street name, it can be a town, it can be um, maybe he's a friend because I heard close by. I don't close by and it sounds like David. So I don't know if he's talking about a friend named David and wherever he lives and he's probably close by there or if it's a street name, a town, a business, right? So we have to look at, into that and see where that fits in later on. I also got the number 42 as well. Um, initially, I thought that that was his age, but I found out that he's actually 54 um, or he's around that age, either 54 or around that age. Um, so 42 does not fit with his age. So it could be a street number, 42 Street, or 42nd Street um, or something like that. Um, I don't know if that's, you know, if that has anything to do with him or how that connects with him. Um, but that's what I am picking up for him right now. Um, so if you guys are interested um, in getting a reading for me, I'm currently open um, to do some tarot reading for anyone who had a family member or a friend who has tragically passed away. Or if you have a friend or a family member who is currently missing and you would like some closure on what happened to them or um, you can please um, let me know. You can reach out to me via email or through my Facebook page messenger as well. Um, also, if there's any cases you would like for me to cover, make sure to tag me on any of my social media accounts. I have TikTok, YouTube, or through email as well. Um, and all right, guys, well, that's what I'm picking up for him. And thank you guys for making it this far. I really appreciate it. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time.